YouTube welcome back to the bison workshop I'm Bob and today we're going to do part one of a monitor fix um, I have done this before successfully with my son's monitor I don't know if I did a video on that I don't think I did but anyway um, we have the same problem. I came. I left today to go to DMV to get my truck tags renewed, and when I got back, the electric was off. Well, it was off till about four or five o'clock, and I come home to no electric, and when it did come back on. One of my monitors on the Bison Workshop computer stops working. And <laughs> I put one of these in the wrong place. I will be damned. I put one of these in the wrong place. This one here needs to be one of the ones that I ordered. So I need to take this one back out and put it here instead of here. I don't know why the hell I, I wasn't even paying attention. So anyway, that's a good thing. Uh, that means that I just get to show you guys what I'm doing. Uh, now we're not going to see this work yet. There's going to be a part two. Uh, just wanted to show you how to diagnose a problem. Now, it's not a scientific diagnose, but it is enough to make it work for me. Um, the way I fixed my son's monitor was I opened it up, and I was looking... As soon as I find me a pointer here, I was looking at the capacitors. You got one here, one here, one here. You got a bunch of them here. Just all these are capacitors. And the way you can tell if they're bad is, I'll show you a good one. This one here is a good one. You see the top of that, how flat it is? Well, that's a good capacitor. See how bulged the old one is? Right here, on top of that, you got a bulge. Well, that's a bad one. So I went and counted all the bad ones this one was bad, this one was bad, this one here was bad that I put the wrong one in, so I got to take that one back out because this is the one that went in. It's supposed to be an 8, let's see, an eight, um, 820 microfarads at 25 volts. So I'm going to have to take this one back out and put it here because I had this one to replace which was here I mean here and then this one so these two were the same so this one you needs to go here and then when I get the other ones that are like this one the 820 microfarads at 25 volts they need to go here here and here so I went ahead and ordered 10 of them and I got two monitors, so if the same thing happens to it, I have new capacitors to put in it if it ever happens. If this works. If you notice, it's a little dark right here. 
in this area well that's a sign of heat and a lot of it and these diodes here look like they've gotten pretty hot around it too so I don't know what happened today but you know fact remains my monitor's not working it had power the computer seen it because it beeped every time I plugged it in and the blue light power light on the front was flashing so every time I hooked it in it would sound like it's actually connecting and the other other monitor indicated that it was switching to the main monitor so the taskbar was going to the other this monitor that was not show or working so i'm betting that once i replace these five capacitors i'm betting this thing will work there's not really a whole lot more that can be wrong with this except for the capacitors. Um, you know, it could be a, a resistor, it could be a diode, it, it could be any number of things, but this is the obvious problem. So we need to fix the obvious problem before we fix an unobvious problem. So if we fix the obvious problem that only costs us $4.24 to fix and have enough to fix both monitors, that's a no-brainer. So we're hoping that we get lucky and this $4.24 worth of uh, capacitors will fix this problem. And the only reason is $4.24 to fix this computer monitor is because these are the ones that goes here or here and here so I have these two I ordered ten of these that are like this one right here these two remember we got to take this one out and put it here and then when we get these these three here are the same so right now my son is aggravating the piss out of me, so I'm going to have to shorten this video. And I hope he sees this video so he can hear me say that. Uh, he's working on his computer, and apparently he's having a problem. So let me look on Facebook and see what his problem is. <laughs> Hello, Gus. Uh, so... We're going to take this one back out, and the way we do that, and it's not the best way, but it's the way that I have to do. So we're going to take this one out, and we're going to replace it. So you need to find out which one it is, and the way I find out which one it is, is I'll take me a little marker, a Sharpie. And then I will locate that, which is going to be these two right here. So I'll just put a dot on the solder. All right. Now this one here needs to come back out. I can't believe I made that mistake. It's a good thing I caught it because that could have been, that could have blowed something else up. So, let's go ahead, and my soldering gun is about a piece of crap, so we're going to take and desolder this. This is my desolderer. So we just take, melt that. And I may have to go get my other soldering gun because this one here is about had it. Yeah, this one's not heating up no more. Uh, we'll be right. My son's aggravating me. I gotta get off here. So, 
Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take, now that I've got a soldering gun, and watch this one not work either. Alright, so we got to take this one out. And I hate this fucking thing, but it's all I got. I don't solder enough to uh, worry about having to buy one, a better one. I don't know why they didn't make this metal, because you got to actually have it up on there and ready to do it, because the solder gets cold before you actually have a chance to get it off of there. There we go, that one works okay. Yeah, I don't like these damn things here. All right, so now we're gonna take this one here back off. Can't believe I forgot to or put the wrong damn one in place. So now we just reach over here and grab a hold of that, and it's still connected a little bit. All right, now that one we'll take out. And it doesn't matter uh, which way that you took it out because it shows on there which way positive is, which is facing that direction. So the shaded part is the side that's positive or actually negative, it's got the negative on it. So you wanna put this white side towards the white side on this same thing with this one so this one here one like this one will go in the place of that one so now we'll take this one and put it here so let's go ahead and take that one out Now we'll take this, straighten it up somewhat, and remember the shaded part goes towards the shaded part on that. And then you just bend them slightly, just enough to hold them in place. Then you get your solder. And you resolder it. And there we go. Now I want to resolder this one here, melt it down a little bit. Now we got a hotter iron. Alright, so now. We have to wait to get the other part. And you can see that thing's got that one got pretty hot. So let's just hope this works. After we get all the uh, bad capacitors done. So, you know, that's all we can do. And you can see where them two right there, these two, that's where they were at. You can see where they got hot right here, right here. And then this is the other one, which is right here. And you can see where all them capacitors got hot. Uh, right here is this thing. So that got a little, well, actually, that's just dirt. But the brown is where them capacitors got really hot. So, let's hope this works. <laughs> so, I've already ordered them. And as soon as they come in, 
Uh, we'll be putting this back in. Like so. If I can hit the hole. <laughs> there we go. Alright, until we get our parts, I'm going to go ahead and put these screws back in here. So I don't lose the screws. You don't want to lose your screws. And you don't want to screw your lose. <laughs> uh, is that the right one? I hope that goes here. Alright. And we'll set this aside until my new parts come in. And when my new parts come in, we'll go ahead and get this thing uh the uh, capacitor is replaced, and hopefully we get it working pretty good. There really ain't a whole lot can go wrong with these monitors, but here's what we got. We got a Samsung SyncMaster 943BWT. This one here is the one that was bad. I just took the one that was up there and put down here. But for some reason, that monitor is holding its value. Now you can go buy this Dell, all three of these. You can get them for like $30 a piece. This one here is holding and has been holding since... Uh, I've had these monitors at $100. They, they're not going down. So there must be something special about these monitors. And my battery's getting ready to go dead. So um, we'll get our parts. And when we get our parts, we'll continue this video. And stay tuned.